149 pounds. Zane Rutherford, two-time reigning national champion, top ranked, and Eleazar DeLuca for Rutgers. Well, we know Zane Rutherford is a bonus point machine. He's dangerous from everywhere and almost impossible to score on. Of course, you called the meet where DeLuca had the two throws to uh, come from behind and win against Hayes in Ohio State, and that's really exciting. So you know that DeLuca knows how to pull the trigger, but it's one thing to know how to pull the trigger and really get the shot off against Rutherford. Rutherford got a forfeit against Minnesota on Friday. So 19 he's, he's and up. He's he, unbelievable. He doesn't like getting the forfeit, so he's he's ready to go oh. right now. 19 and 0, 15 pins. He's got 51 pins, which is third all time behind David Taylor and Josh Moore. And what a career he's had. Well, and this isn't the only career he's thinking about. He's just been so consistent. Dane Rutherford is hungry. He, he wants to do well here and at the next level. So he's always thinking about getting better. Was able to beat Frank Molinero to secure a spot on the senior world team. Russell in Paris. No score. DeLuca comes in eight and six this season. As you said, he's got some home run power. Gave Keyshawn Hayes a couple of rides. Speaking of the senior team, nice job at the Eater Egan uh, tournament with a couple of winners and uh, Kyle Snyder doing something that no male American has ever done, winning twice in a row at that prestigious tournament. And, and, um, and then David Taylor with only the 12th uh, American ever to win the Eater Egan Championship. Great job. It's the fourth time I believe I read that the U.S. has had two champions. And of course, want to give credit to the women's side of things as well. Tamara Stock technically became the first American to win two Eureka titles, as she did it this past weekend. Here's Rutherford, single leg. No points yet. DeLuca fighting hard against Rutherford, but. Well, that looks like two there. There's not much of a whiz there. There's two, yeah. Ali Reagan was a silver. Kyle Dake was a silver. I believe Frank Molinero. And then uh, Nick Wazdowski was bronze. So great showing. Seven total medals by yep. the United States at the Oregon. The yep. toughest tournament in the world. Yeah, and he was one of the toughest wrestlers ever to wrestle for the Soviet Union. Ivan Oregon. Uh, uh, I had the opportunity to meet him uh, several times when I was with USA Wrestling. And uh, he taught me the universal language. No problem, no problem. You know, I'd pick him up uh, an Aerofloat up in Montreal, and he he look for me and say, "Team," and I say, well, "You got the whole team together? No problem, no problem." Great guy, uh, passed on years ago, and uh, the tournament, a tough tournament named after a tough Olympic champion. This right here, th this bow and arrow ought to be renamed the Rutherford. Oh, this is where I mean, he this just is, mauls you. Yeah, and he mauls. And he's got to watch it there so that uh, he doesn't take it beyond where it should. But uh, unbelievably relentless. 4-1 score for Rutherford after the first period. Won the Hodge Trophy last year. After picking up his second national title. He'll gun for his third Big Ten title in East Lansing in early March. Starts second period on bottom. There's a claw from DeLuca, but Rutherford to his feet. And that quick escape. Rutherford gets to his feet so well. Keeps, he, he's got his hips over his uh, feet and does a nice job of hand control. Never finding him underneath very long. His 19 victories, TJ, all bonus points. His closest match was against Ryan Deacon of Northwestern, 10-2. Closest match of the season. He's been a lot of fun to watch, of course. I always think back to that victory he had inside Rec Hall against Logan Stieber. And of course, Logan Stieber. Okay, so one point, and uh, the official comes back and says, this is the second time on you, DeLuca, for putting that hand in the face, and that's one technical violation, 1.4. DeLuca got to keep his poise because Rutherford, he'll frustrate you to say the least. And you're right, um, 
Rutherford as a true freshman, uh, went into rec hall, or was in rec hall, and, uh, and beat uh, Logan Stever. Logan Stever comes back, of course, and wins the NCAAs. Rutherford gets fourth, I believe, as a true freshman, and, and uh, Stever, what a tremendous career, so what a tremendous victory as a true freshman over a four-time NCAA champion. Double leg for two, quick score. Eight to one. The one thing with Rutherford, also TJ, he's got those 15 pins, but in the matches where I watch him, when he pins you, he's up by double digits. I mean, it's not like he, I mean, he just, he dominates, he mauls, he pins. DMP, that's, that's Zane Rutherford's initials. Super quick finish here, Tim. So a little t tap on the head, a drive to the, above the knees, at the hips, and then kind of a little duck action comes around for the two. Does a really nice job of creating and finding the angle. Obviously executes so well. Cale Sanderson, Cody Sanderson, the associate head coach, his brother, two-time national runner-up himself, but of course Cale, 159-0, four-timer out of Iowa State, and now six out of the last seven NCAA titles as the coach for Penn State. Zane Rutherford, like a lot of these guys on Penn State, you get a chance to talk to Zane Rutherford, Mark Hall, Bo Nickel, Jason Nolf. They're Let like the guess. nicest kids you'll ever meet. And what's the word? They're grateful. They're grateful, They're grateful they for the, the opportunity. opportunity to uh, compete. But when that whistle blows inside the circle, they turn into a different animal. They're grateful and they're great. Full of greatness. 8-1, half a minute, second period, now 8-2. Rutherford. Whoa. So tough. There's a shot. Stuck underneath front headlock position by DeLuca. DeLuca's not going to take a backward step at all from his standpoint. And I think something, TJ, from my perspective, I think that's something that's perhaps underappreciated with Rutherford, just how tough he is. I mean, he'll he'll get into a brawl if you want to. Th there is no question. I, that's one guy I do not want to get on the mat with. Look like a headbutt there from DeLuca. This one getting chippy. There's a hard club from DeLuca, and there's another one. Nine to two. Unsportsmanlike. So that's uh, unnecessary roughness, which is unsportsmanlike. And the third one will be two. Yeah, if you're oh, DeLuca right here, you gotta. Both these guys obviously gotta be aware, stay poised. And that was a one and a two there. DeLuca wrestled that. Guys, let's clean it up. Yes. Next so one will be disqualification, he just said. Unnecessary contact. As I was saying, DeLuca came over from Northern Colorado, also wrestled at Clackamas Community College before coming to Piscataway. Snatches a single leg. DeLuca able to square his hips. Now you can tell DeLuca thoughts of something big. He'll meet it here as he trails by eight. This is going to be interesting if uh, DeLuca gets through this last period here because he's, just, he's uh, coming with the big left and a little potentially dangerous called by the official. As you said, DeLuca not backing down. This penalty, this penalty should be two points. This penalty is two points. Now we have two unnecessary roughness, and then a third one was unsportsmanlike for two points. 
So we heard the official say it. Two for unnecessary roughness, two one-point penalties, and then the two for unsportsmanlike. And so the next four, one will be disqualification. Four penalty points That's right. to Rutherford in this matchup to this point. Nice to pick up that audio. 11-2. And this, Our collar and the, tie. And this is where you're not going to fluster uh, Rutherford. I mean, no. this is it, and this is the thing. You can see if you're going to, if you think you're going to, it's just not going to happen. 55 seconds. Rutherford looking for yet another major. Rutherford just hanging out center of the mat. Knee pick. Oh, the knee down. pick and drive. Does a nice job there. It's all timing, really nice job. Caught DeLuca coming into him, picked the knee, drove through. Now, now a little old gonna, here school. We here we go, a little old school, <laughs> the arm bar. That hammer lock position. Able to scoop up the knee. Yeah, he's got to watch that ankle right there, yep. but what a nice job. He's trying to turn those hips so that the shoulders follow. We've seen this before. With the riding time, it'll be a 14-2 major for Zane Rutherford. As Rutherford improves to 20-0.